My name is Bill, and this is the second in a series of tutorials showing how to use LT for drawing houses. In other words, architectural drafting. I have this plan here. We're in model space at the moment. What I'm going to show you is how to reuse certain items. So if you come into a drawing like this, for instance, and you're going to be trying to draw a section, um, you don't recreate the wheel. This has been drawn within an inch of its life by somebody and drawn very nicely and just needs reusing. So how do we reuse this so that we can use it again sometime? That is what we call right blocking out a block. So this whole thing here is what the file that we're going to create. So it's very easy command to use. It's a dash W for right block. There is another one for um, that you can use a, a dialog box, but I like dash W. It's nice and simple. So hit enter on that. And then we go and save that somewhere and we'll put this in uh, Bill's CAD and we will uh, make a new directory especially for it. Now notice when I press new directory nothing happened but there's new folder and that's what it created. And this is a peculiarity with AutoCAD. It'll call this um, uh, AutoCAD LT and that'll be at the top. So we have to think of a name for our little thing and make it something sensible like uh, wall uh, section and uh, we call it bricks and tile roof you can call it all sorts of things but that's that's just near enough for what we're doing and now down at the bottom it says define a new drawing it's asking you questions all the time down here and the answer is in the See the little that little sign there, and the the other greater than equal sign there. That is the default. So we just going define drawing, and it says the insertion base point. Well, any any base point for this will do. Pick that one there, and pick that one there, and done. So now, if I drag Windows Explorer onto here and go into Bill's CAD, AutoCAD LT, there is the file, okay? So now if I want that that drawing, I'll open it up, just see what it looks like. There it is, it's just that thing that you saved. So close him, then we'll save the changes, and we're back in the first drawing. So now, when we have this one here, we can, to insert that in a drawing, you can just drag that and drop it into the drawing. And there it is. We're going to draw a section here. So I've picked a point now. You have to keep a notice of what's happening down here. Insert, X factor, opposite corner, or X, Y, Z. And it's, it's defaulting to 1. In other words, the scale is going to be 1. So we hit Enter once. And then it says, oh, you can scale it in the Y factor as well, but use, it says use X scale factor, so we'll hit enter on that. And then it says, how, how about your rotation? Well, we can manually point to it, or we can just hit enter on the zero. Okay, so that's the start of our section. Um, now, we have to make sure that it's in line with all that. But see that? That's getting a bit busy. This is a model space, remember? All these little uh, tabs, they all look onto that and get an idea of what they want to print from there. So we've got to freeze off some layers. So it would be useful if we just had the ground floor stuff. So there's ground floor. And there's ground floor. 
I right click, invert selection, freeze everything off. Now, it says this layer cannot be frozen off because it is the current layer. Well, that's fine. So one, one of these layers, see site contours, is going to be frozen because it's the current layer. It's, it's protesting. Okay. So we will make one of the section ones the current layer. One of these ones, whatever, it doesn't matter which one we use. That one will be a good one, section. It's color white. Can't be made the current layer because it turned off. Okay, we'll turn it on and we'll turn, that is the current layer now. And of course, this site, site contours, we can turn them off now. So we'll want all our section parts turned back on. So they're all on. So that's good. And see now we're, our plan is a lot more visible. You can see that uh, here's timber on this wall, but there's bricks on this one here. So how do we transfer those lines further down onto there? And there's an interesting thing. Our um, thing that we just put in here a minute ago has disappeared. It's obviously on a layer that did not want to be printed. Maybe it's on that site. Hmm. So we'll turn on all the site ones and see if it pops into view. It may well do. It doesn't. Well, parts of it has. So uh, I guess. I expected too much, didn't I? I expected section stuff to be showing up. So showing up here, which is fine. All of that other stuff obviously wasn't drawn on the section layer. So I'll get around this using the layer dash LA layer command. T for Thor and the whole blimmin lot, Thor and Wolf, hit enter. And there they are there. So these are obviously oh that's the reason why, because see that's locked up in a block. I didn't explode the block. Okay. So that's see that's a layer called H. So it's not not very uh, how would you say properly done this drawing because you just calling something H is is not really good enough and. We click on that. It says that is. A, we click on the properties of that. It's saying it's a block reference, so it's a little block. Somebody's put it in as an artificial, a what they call an anonymous block. They haven't bothered even bothered naming it. So right click on that. We can edit the block in place. These are blocks within the drawing, as opposed to a block outside the drawing. And we can see that line there is ground floor existing roof. So, what we're going to do is we're going to change that. And the reason why we're doing this is we want to be able to control how that appears. So, we're going to change that by just clicking on the zero layer. Now, the zero layer is a special layer, okay? And that means that when, this is, when we finished editing this block, like right now, we finish it, we close the reference session, save the reference edits, we'll be saved, yep. Now, that layer of that is still on H, but suppose, suppose that there is on frame decromastic. Well, it's obviously coming from some weirdo place. That one there, ground floor internal wall. There must be something on here that's um, coming into the right right place. Well, we're going to blast it. We're going to save all of that, get all that, and right click, go properties, and see the color and the layer is varying. So we'll put it on the layer called section. There we go. And the color we press escape a couple of times, see how the colours have all changed. Some of them, that there, 
we click on that, go to the properties. The properties are somebody's made it magenta, even though it's on the section layer. Uh, it's it, it's it's not color by layer. It can be color by layer, but these lines will print out a little bit thicker than those lines, and that's that's the point. Um, and you'll notice that these layer, these lines here now, they appear white. So if I was to isolate that layer, and I can do that. Um, oh, by the way, these 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 things are called toolbars, and if we right click on that, we can have layers too. It popped up on the other screen here, and there it is. There, so it allows you a bit more functionality. Layer match, layer change the current layer, layer isolate. Ooh, well, that might be unisolate. So if I isolate, isolate that layer. Remember, I changed it to section. Hit enter. Nothing else appears in this whole thing apart from that that layer only. Everything else is grayed out. So. We will unisolate. What you think is that one there? See everything's brightened up again. So, in in that way, we can just work on that layer only. Okay. So now we want to be able to uh, layer freeze. Oh, here we go. You can use this one here. Uh, freeze or various things and, and and make things a little bit clearer uh, just by clicking on it uh, the text uh, what else so it's a bit clearer now the whole idea is to make it as clear as you can so at the moment the only place that we've got place where we've got the bricks and the timber is actually by the garage door so that only applies over there so if I MI that for mirror yes so then we would like a place where we see there's bricks there but there's no brick. See, there's timber weatherboards there. So I'd like to have that little section there. So, Control C. There's a few things there. Grab that. Now I notice I put Control C. That means copying to the clipboard. This is just going to be a different way of showing you. I want that left hand version there. If I go up to add a new drawing there's the new drawing okay, control V there's my um, oh, lost piece piece or two there that's right well it really doesn't need those bits there so and it's missing a couple of pieces going that way so we'll just pop back into the into this drawing here. I'll show you a trick here. See we're missing that line and that line there. And we wanted to have that base point there because that see that that always goes across right on the top of there. So edit, copy with the base point, base point is there, that one and that line there. Okay. So then go back to the other drawing. Go Control V. See, it's wanting to paste it at just the right place. See how it's all nicely going along there. So that's fine. That's good enough for what we're we're wanting to do. And remember, we wanted this all to be on uh, section layer, didn't we? There it is, section layer. And we could probably get rid of the the downpipe. It's probably necessary in this one. So, so we.